Hello, citizens of Glovetopia. My name is Nick Vila from the Band Power Glove, and I play bass. Um, I'm here to answer your questions, and our first one comes from Armando Santana. And he wants to know what the ingredients of our super awesome potion would be. Uh, I'd have to say that it would be one cup of uh, Van Juice, one tablespoon of metal, and uh, a part of a uh, fresh dingleberries straight from the vine. Next question comes from a bunch of you. You want to know when the next time we're going to play in your area is. Um, and uh, my answer for that is once we finish our new album. Because I know you guys want to hear some new music before we keep on touring forever. Which is what we're going to do once we're finished. So we'll finish our album probably in late, later this year or early next year. And then after that, we plan on doing a world tour, and we'll, we'll see how we see how many places we can hit. Uh, Joel Moore wants to know what my favorite song that I'm currently working on for the next record is. And um, short disclaimer: none of the songs that I say we're going to do right now will actually make it to the next album. We usually end up writing about. 20, 25 songs every single album and uh, only end up using 10 or 11 of them. Uh, with that said, I'm having a lot of fun uh, with Ninja Gaiden right now. It's a song that um, Basil and Alex started writing a few years ago and we've I've recently revisited with Basil and uh, I don't know, it, it's coming out uh, very well and it has a different sound from uh, some of the other Power Glove songs you might have heard already. A lot more, uh, there's some acoustic parts that, um, that go on for longer. I know we've done some acoustic stuff in like X-Men and Mortal, Metal Combat for the Mortal Man. But uh, this is kind of, a few of the songs we have in this album, the acoustic stuff's going to go on for way longer. Uh, Nicholas Roy wants to know what game do I always go back to? Uh, I would have to say Final Fantasy 3 or 6. Um, I'm playing through that right now, actually. I just got a... Uh, world of Balance just got destroyed, and I'm in the world of shit. At the moment. Cody Cameron wants to know would I ever consider doing more collaborations with the Proto Men? Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, the Proto Men are a Mega Man rock opera group, and they're fucking amazing. You should go check them out. And uh, we did a co-headlining tour of them in May. And uh, their singer, uh, Panther, um, sang the Pokemon theme song for us live. Uh, searched that on YouTube or something. It was, uh, I think it came out all right. Um, but, uh, yes, we definitely consider that. And we're going to consider having um, a few more guest vocalists and musicians on our next CD. So watch out for that. Uh, Black Patter, the Mad Hatter, asks, if you could collaborate with one singer for an album, who would it be and why? Um, I guess I'll say, uh, Joachim from Sabaton, we've already been, we talked to a long time ago, and we want him to sing the Ghostbusters theme on our next album, so we're currently working that out. No guarantees it'll happen, but we're working on that one. Lee Brock wants to know what theme song have we always wanted to cover and haven't been able to for some reason. Well, you guys know this already, but The Little Mermaid, uh, uh, Under the Sea from The Little Mermaid. We've wanted to do that for a long time, and uh, Disney Disney would not let us have that one. They were nice, they let us do them before Christmas and Winnie the Pooh, but not Little Mermaid, so... Um, we will work on getting that kind of stuff out to you uh, as soon as we can. Nick Chartier wants to know why did you guys decide to do power metal inspired from video games? Um, the answer that would be the same for a lot of you. Have you ever watched a, a cartoon or played a video game when you were a kid and wanted to play that song? and wanted to make it into a metal song. That's the only reason why we do it. Uh, 
Jake Bedard wants to know what it was like working with Tony Cocker. Um, Tony Cocker was was definitely a pro. Uh, when he uh, after that tour we did with him in 2010, um, he recorded uh, the vocal tracks for the Pokemon theme song while he was sick. And you know we didn't, we weren't gonna, we weren't sure of how good of a job he was gonna do with his sickness, but he ended up doing uh, 60 vocal tracks, which are all perfect and hilarious, um, especially the Simpsons, um, where when we sent the Simpsons track, we only wanted him to sing the beginning of the Simpsons song, and he ended up doing that um, middle section where he sings like T A G S I M P S O N S. And uh, that was just on his part for fun, so we loved it so much we threw it in. And uh, I don't know, it was a lot of fun working with him. Next question comes from Dale Shu. Will you guys be touring with Dragon Force again? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, we're still good buddies with those guys, and we talk to them a lot. And uh, if the tour makes sense, uh, we will play with them again. We just played with them in 2011 at the uh, first show that they did with a new singer, Mark Hudson, in New York City, and that was all fun. Uh, Pavel wants to know where I enjoy playing the most and why. I'd say some of my favorite places to play are uh, Worcester, Massachusetts, Anaheim, California, and New York City. Uh, Worcester, Massachusetts, I just love to play because that's where I grew up seeing metal shows. I saw my first show there when I was 13 years old. I think it was in Flames and uh, Solar Work. And um, I always, that, that kind of, uh, the Palladium and Worcester kind of set my standard for how crazy crowds would go. And I just would always see them just like crowd surfing and stage diving and, cir and doing circle pits the entire time. And that was, that kind of set my standard for the entire rest of the States. So I kind of, uh, try to get that energy out of every place that I play that I would see in Worcester. Damien Bracey wants to know if we're planning on it, doing any more Final Fantasy VII music. Uh, yes, we're definitely planning on doing more. Uh, I don't know how many more we're going to do in the next album, but uh, ones we've talked about are One Winged Angel. And, uh, we definitely want to get a full orchestra for that. Uh, Joseph Montoya wants to know uh, what tuning we use. That's E flat standard, or for me, I guess B e flat standard. So play five fingers. Chase Pete, Chase Pat, sorry, wants to know. Says, uh, could you please play with my band in our hometown at Newport News, Virginia? Just contact us once we start touring again, then after our next album comes out. I'll, I want to play anywhere, whether it's a house party or a giant venue. So just contact me. Oh, Scott Green. Hello, Scott. Um, he asks if we have ever planned on composing original video game soundtrack music. Um, we've been contacted by a few indie uh, studios to do music for video games. And uh, we're talking to them right now about doing that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, we definitely plan on we definitely plan on doing that. I mean, the more opportunities that come up, the more original video game music you're gonna hear from us. So. Uh, uh, it'll probably you probably wouldn't hear anything like that for a few years, but it's uh, it's starting to happen, and it's something we want to work on. Tony Latour asks what was the finding moment that made us. That made us want to get started uh, getting serious with our music. Was fuck man, serious. I wouldn't say we ever got serious. <laughs> um, we we're always serious with the music, but the live show, uh, we don't give a fuck. We're like having giant do manning donuts and piranha uh, plants on stage, and. Uh, fuck it. George Daskell says, uh, if you could have one materia, what would it be? Knights of the Round. 
Matthew wants to know, would you guys consider doing a cover of The Hill Hidden Village from Twilight Princess? Uh, yes, sure, I just need to hear it, and if it's... Honestly, a lot of our songs come to us uh, randomly, we just check out music, uh, we go through a list of soundtracks that we listen to when we're kids, and we look at, and we, um, we look at a lot of the requests you guys give us as well, and, um, whatever we think, whatever we get an idea for at that moment, that's what we start working on, so. Uh, next one comes from Justin Matthews, Justin Matthews, um, what is a theme game or series you've been working on? Um, what is a theme game or series that you've been working on? A song or been wanting to work on that hasn't made a completion or the fan... All right. I understand what you mean there. <laughs> uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles never quite got there. We worked on it for a long time. But it's something that could come back if we can finish a song at one point. Uh, JJ asks, how much have we enjoyed Puerto Rico? Uh, very much. We drank way too much rum, and, uh, I'm actually still in physical therapy from headbanging way too hard at the, at that show, and I blew up my neck the next day. Uh, last question comes from, uh, David Martin. He says, so metalarchives.com won't list to you guys on their site because they say you're just a cover band. Have you ever thought of writing just a single original song? I, for one, love the band and always make sure to show you off to my friends who haven't heard you. Thanks for that. Uh, I don't give a fuck about Metal Archives. Um, when the time's right for us to write originals, we've done it before. And uh, the only reason we're not doing it now is because we know that we have a bunch of video game material that we already wrote a while ago, so you might be hearing uh, original Power Glove music in a few years after this album. But uh, yeah, that's definitely a possibility. Nice meeting all you guys. I'm a bit out of it tonight, so thanks for sticking with me. Um, we'll do this again sometime. Fucking metal in your ass and all that shit. Goodbye. Good night.